three games remaining on the United States road to South Africa, the U.S. found themselves in the lead of a tight race for three spots in the World Cup Finals, while the Nats traveled to Trinidad for a crucial qualifier. Veteran supporters gathered at pubs across the country to watch the big game. They have three games left. Realistically, they probably need to win two out of the three to just make sure that they qualify, regardless of what anybody else does. Huge three points for the United States. We need to win this game. We only have you know, one home game left. The Americans found themselves in a scoreless battle with a feisty Trinidad side, but all they needed was one goal. Dempsey slides it over. Donovan cuts, looks, laid it back. Mark, will he have a go? He does! Rick Clark with the goal! Ricardo Clark's 30-yard blast was enough to secure three road points for the USA. Hey, you At the end of the day, good performance, great shot by Ricardo Clark. If you can win on the road in qualifying, it's always a big thing. USA beat Trinidad. Big game next game. Honduras' loss to Mexico at the Azteca put the Yanks in control of their World Cup destiny. We'll have a chance to play in Honduras for a final spot in South Africa. USA can clinch in Honduras. So hopefully, you know, God willing, we'll get the points. USA! Any new fan who looks at the U.S. and thinks, Oh, they're these small Central American countries, we should smoke them. That's not the way it goes, that's not world soccer. When you guys come to, to Honduras, it's gonna be on, man. Honduras, a football crazy nation, starving for their first World Cup berth since 1982, was finally in a position to break through to the promised land with good results in their final two qualifiers. For the United States, an unlikely road victory against Honduras would send them to their sixth straight World Cup Finals. But a game already red hot with anticipation was about to become an inferno. Honduran President Manuel Zelaya has made a dramatic return to his country nearly three months after the military coup that forced him into exile. <laughs> The coup regime leader, Roberto Micheletti, is demanding of Brazil to turn over Zelaya. That prospect could signify a further setback for the Honduran coup regime. Lo que pasa es que la política es algo y el fútbol es otro. Lo que lo van a alegrar a nosotros es la victoria mañana contra Estados Unidos. And the game is just an outlet for everyone. I mean, when the team wins, everyone parties together, no matter who you're supporting politically. If you lose, we all cry together. At least for one game, everyone's going to be united. We haven't been there since 82, so everyone's just waiting for this. At least my generation, I've never seen the, our team being so close to the World Cup as we are right now. So at least for one weekend, we're going to have a little bit of peace. This is my first away trip. Like a way trip like out of the country. Of all the places to pick and at all the times to pick, like we picked Honduras. I think we gotta take a right up here. You closed? Okay. Quanto sora? Que hora? Here's to San Pedro Sula. Here's to leaving with experience. Here's to leaving with our... Both kidneys. <laughs> all right. I think there's something that's different about soccer than other sports in the United States because it's, it's, it's almost like a cult. It's like right below the radar. But I think that's starting to change. It's become much more mainstream. Way which is fantastic. Mainstream. Much more mainstream. Look at us, all 30 of us. All 30 <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. You, I'm sorry, but I, I think there would have been a lot more people here if it wasn't for... Honduran people, if they could get into the World Cup. For Honduras, this is the Super Bowl. Somebody needs to win. <laughs> Somebody needs to go to the World Cup. Never met uh, American soccer fans. I've seen TV transmissions. I've seen the fans and on clubs in the stadium, but I've never actually met traveling U.S. fans. This is, this is the first, and this is good. I'm glad. There is actually no political crisis as long as the Honduran football team wins against the United States tomorrow.
que seguramente va a tener una variante de tego táctico en el movimiento de Ramón Núñez en el los últimos 15 o 20 minutos muy, muy crítico para los Stars y Stripes ¡Van a llorar! ¡A llorar! Torrential downpour washed over a sultry San Pedro Sula, where the pregame atmosphere was heating up. My parents don't know I'm here. They think I'm in Houston. I followed the U.S. since uh, pretty much the first World Cup they made in 1990, and then I've been to every single World Cup since uh, '86. If they are able to play finally up to their potential, then they should win this game. <laughs> Everyone's got a good feeling that this is going to be the game that we clinch. USA! 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 estimated 40 U.S. supporters who made the voyage to San Pedro Sula were some of the only Americans who would ever get to witness the match. Well, unfortunately, this is one of the only two places where you can watch the game in English. There's a couple of other bars that you can watch in Spanish. It's a little frustrating that there's only two places in like the whole metropolitan area you can watch the game. I and mean, if you're a real fan, you know where you need to go to find the game.